Hi, my name is Dan and I help companies with their Sage CRM projects. Sage CRM is very different than the other leading CRM applications. It's very configurable and very open-ended. Every company I've ever worked with uses it differently, but understanding the possibilities with Sage and why it's different isn't always apparent. And really that's the purpose of this video. I'm going to walk you through what makes Sage different. Let's start with the user interface. I can filter for information and then bring up a record. When I'm looking at a record, I've got a profile here, but you'll notice all these tabs across the top. I can tab to the related communications or documents. I can tab in this case to all the related people. Under each of these tabs, we can view or enter data, and we can also create more tabs and then remove any tabs that we don't need. Throughout the system, we have fields to accurately profile data and it's very easy to create a new field and then display it on any of the screens. For instance, let's take a look at how two companies are profiled in two different instances of Sage CRM. In my system, these are the different fields that we use to profile companies. When does their support agreement expire? What version of Sage do they have? How did I come to meet them? That type of thing. But now I've just jumped over to this other instance of Sage and you'll notice it's completely different. Do they do this with us? Do they do that with us? How would we rank this particular company? But it's not just profiling companies and opportunities. Within Sage, you can add sections to hold data. So beyond companies and opportunities or customer service issues, you might also want to track shows or equipment or employees, whatever happens to be important to your organization. We can pull inquiries in from your website that notify your sales team or you could even create a full portal where non-CRM users can log into your website and interact with your Sage CRM system. We can also bring in information from other applications or databases, like your accounting system or something else. Clients do this all the time, especially with accounting data. Sage CRM is a great application for processing orders and then having those CRM orders flow right into the accounting system. Next, let's look at some of the tools we have within Sage to ensure users enter information accurately and otherwise use your system properly. This could be as simple as making some fields required, or maybe that they be required, but only in certain situations. You can set up escalation rules to monitor your system and then notify people when these defined conditions have been met. And here's an example on this screen. My favorite feature is called Workflow. Workflow controls how information progresses through a department. Workflows can be basic or they can be very sophisticated and they're always tailored around the unique needs of a company. When Workflow is deployed, it can do things like inform a user as to what they're meant to do next or enforce that certain questions get answered at certain times. A workflow can also automatically notify people, maybe when their input is required, and it can ensure a particular document gets uploaded like a quotation or a spec, or whatever documents you feel should be uploaded. The companies that leverage these different controls that I'm going through with you, well, they're ultimately much more successful with their CRM strategies. So with Sage, you saw that we can profile absolutely anything, and we can record communications and documents against whatever it is that we want to profile. We can readily integrate with our website, our accounting system, or anything else. But more importantly, we can define how information moves through our system. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of Sage CRM and why it's so different and why it consistently ranks as a leading CRM.